Hi YouTube, it's Kim and today I'm doing a requested video on roller setting my hair. I am a huge multitasker so what you see on my face is this mud mask so I try to use my time wisely and do my hair at the same time I'm taking care of my skin. This mud mask is chocolate and it's natural and it's just so deliciously yummy smelling and I love how it leaves my skin. So here the first thing I do is I make sure my hair is soaking wet and I will saturate it even more with the VO5 Detangle and Shine Leave-In Treatment. It protects the hair from heat. It also adds a lot of shine and gloss and conditioning to the hair. It helps to keep it smooth and it has it looking smooth and really I mean this is the only wet set type of lotion or anything that I would use on my hair. It's awesome. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to section the hair into three parts. Starting on one side of the head, you're going to section one part and clear through it and then pin it up. Make sure to keep a water bottle and the leave-in treatment handy because you're going to want to make sure your, stay, your hair stays soaking wet throughout this whole process. To me that's the key is keeping the hair wet. You cannot spray too much of the leave-in treatment. It doesn't build up or flake on your hair so there's no worries about that. So then you're going to section the hair again so that you have this mohawk kind of a thing running down the middle of your head and another section like the opposite side on the other side of your head. You're going to clear through it and pin that side up. Now about two years and some months ago I cut my hair extremely short, shorter than Holly Berry's and people ask me how I get my hair to grow so fast and you know I think it's just I don't apply much heat to my hair at all and I only trim my hair once a year so you know I, to me that's the key. Now here you're going to take that middle section of hair and make sure it's really wet and you're going to start with a small section that you part at the forehead, the, the front of your head. Pull it very high up and use a good quality rat tail comb that has close set teeth to detangle the hair and smooth it and you know pull it to the front and make sure the very tips of the hair are smooth as much as possible and as wet as possible. And you're going to take the magnetic roller which I only use goody magnetic rollers and I've tried them all. They are the best to me and they give the best results. You're going to smooth the tips of the hair, roll a few times, pull, roll a few times and pull and then you're going to secure it with a clip-on, the snap-on. Now I'm kind of a cheater at this. My mother can put the rollers in and just use the clips. I can't do it. No matter how many times I've roller set my hair, I just can't get them to stay tight enough. So I just apply the um, deep set alligator clip with the snap on and it's perfect for me. So um, you do what works best for you, but you know, this is much easier for me to do. So you're going to do the same thing through the whole middle of your head. Now as far as growing the hair out, um, I think roller setting is one of the best ways to do that. Um, I will not for two weeks after roller setting my hair use any heat like I said. So my split ends are pretty minimal and I think that's why I don't have to trim my hair very often. So I roller set my hair every night and I trim it once a year. I deep condition my hair twice a month and I don't use heat for two weeks there's really no need to. After I roller set my hair I will round brush it out with the blow dryer and I'll lightly flat iron it and that's it. I can take my hair down every morning from the wrap and go. Do different styles whatever it is and go. So after you finish the middle section of your hair you're gonna section that side section into two separate sections and if you get any loose rollers or um, you know want to secure things a little bit as you're going along it doesn't have to be perfect you know in that section I didn't use a, a clip just clip it and you'll be fine so you're gonna go ahead and take that back section that you've created and you're gonna roller set that section the same exact way that you did the middle section
So after you finish that back section, make sure you saturate the hair again and you're going to finish off that side by rolling the front section. It usually takes me about three rollers to do the front side section of my hair. When you're finished with that, you're going to go to the opposite side of your head and you're going to do the same exact thing. Now when you're finished with this, this is what it would look like. And I use two pieces of towel that I've cut from an old towel and a hairnet. Those are my essentials for going under the dryer. And the reason you need the hairnet is that once the hair starts drying, it will start coming loose from the roller, so you want to keep everything secure. And then the towels are to protect your ears from the heat under the dryer. I love the dryer that I use. It's very inexpensive. It's ionic, so it cuts out the frizz while your hair is drying, but it dries really fast without burning you. But you still want to protect your ears because you're going to be under there for like an hour, hour and a half. And for me, I don't use any product on my hair, any oils or anything until after my hair is finished because it's like cooking your hair if you apply heat to it. And it also harms your hair shaft. So you don't want to put oils and things on your hair and then put heat on it, whether it be a flat iron, heat from the dryer, whatever. Put all that stuff on your hair as a finishing touch.